Yes, I woke up, y'all. I woke up with my mind stayed on the spirit. For I understand, and I've been told, Vanessa, help me out now, that there is something going on. Something going on. There is something going on. And I get to call it what I want to call it. So I'm going to call it good and very good, for I know that it's done unto you as you believe. And I am going to call it good. It's prayer time, y'all. So I invite you to close your eyes if you have not already done so. And to recognize the power and the presence of spirit expressing itself in so many ways. There's something happening. There is something happening within my heart, within my soul, within my being. And it is good. For God is truly in the midst of all things. So as I get my bloated nothingness out of the way, as I get my bloated nothingness out of the way, I accept. I accept the power and the presence of spirit. I accept the power and the presence of God. For truly God is all that there is. So I bless the East Bay Church of Religious Science. I bless the truth wherever it's being taught. I bless our senior minister, Reverend Dorico Blackman. I bless each and every one of you as I bless our speaker today, the Reverend Eloise Oliver. For I know who she is. I know who she is. For I understand beyond a shadow of a doubt that God is always expressing itself through my revenue. God is always expressing itself through you. God is in the midst of all things. So I bless you. I bless you. For I understand the more that I am able to bless, the more blessings are bestowed upon me. So I'm blessing y'all. I'm going to bless y'all whether you want it or not. I'm blessing you all because I want it. I want it. I want it. So I'm blessing y'all. I'm giving thanks for this and so much more. As I release, I let go. I let God. And I invite you to anchor this truth with me by saying, I say, Amen. Amen. And so it is. And so it is. Now, bro, I invite my brother Chris to join me in the call to prayer. Assalamu alaikum. Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Ashhadu an la ilaha Ashadu Allah Allah Ashadu Allah Ashadu Muhammad wa Rasulullah Ashadu Allah Muhammad wa Rasulullah Allah, 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 Allah,
For I understand that there are many, many ways to get to the truth. But the truth that I am living is that God is and I am. And so it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Once again, I would like to welcome you all to East Bay Church of Religion Science. Thank you, thank you. And as I said, and my name is Reverend Anthony Jackson. Now, we have so many wonderful things going on here at East Bay Church. And Ms. Arlene King, our COO, will remind you of a few other things going on at East Bay Church. So please, Arlene. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Doing a little double duty today, so sound booth. Um, welcome. My name is Arlene King, and we do have a lot going on today. And I just want to talk about a few things, and I have two guest speakers that will come up today to chat about what's going on. So this month is the month of prayer. The power of prayer. And that's what we're talking about here at East Bay and prayer comes in answers in many ways. So I wanna start with our education ministry. We'll invite Kimberly up to talk about our workshop and Deborah Trousseau will be up. Oh, and Christine will come up to talk about classes. So Christine, Kimberly first. Christine, just come on up and we can talk about this. Hi, East Bay. So, we are very excited. Robert and I will be holding our second Poetry for the Soul workshop next week, next Sunday after church from 1 to 2.30. And um, we spoke this morning and confirmed that what we're going to be really focusing on is poetry as prayer. And so, and it's also National Poetry Month. So, um, what we're going to do is we'll do some prompts. We'll do some talking about poems and prayers, and what we really want to focus on this time is an opportunity to do some collaborative work, but last time we just got so excited that we kind of ran out of time from doing like an open mic. So um, if you have your own work, please bring it. If there are poems that inspire you, please bring those, and we are just so excited to welcome you next Sunday after church in the bookstore. And you can register online. Yes, Thank you. Yes. Love offering, so it's free. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. My, Good morning. Good morning. My name is Christine. And I'm Deborah. And we're teaching together, starting on Tuesday, the self-mastery class. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to say a few words, and then Deborah's going to say a few words. And I want to say in a different way what's already been said this morning and what we say every week. There is one life. Yes. That life is God's life. Yes. That life is my life now. Yes. How would it be if we remembered that every moment of our days? Mm. Mm. Yes. It would be amazing, right? Yes. Right. So self-mastery teaches us how to do that teaches us practices and um, meditations and all kinds of gives us resources for how to remember the truth. Yes. And we're teaching it in person. Oh, yeah, amen. Yeah. Yes. Sounds like she pretty much summed it up. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that, you know, having a class in person and also the idea that when we think of ourselves, we think of our identity and what we've done and who we think we are. But there is a truth that is larger than our identity. Mm -hmm. And that's yes. the place that we want to play with. Yes. That's the place that we want to come from. Yes. And so this class about self-mastery is just aligning ourselves with our true self, mm -hmm. not our identity, Amen. not our ego self. Amen. So we look forward to seeing you. Yes, amen. Yes. Thank you, Education Ministry. And I've had all of these folks as teachers, so I am endorsing them today. So take a class, take the workshop. It'll be amazing. Yes. The next thing I want to talk about is next Saturday we're celebrating the Earth. 
Earth Day is the 22nd, but we're doing it here on the 20th. And what we're going to do first is bless the grounds. And after the blessing happens, there's getting your hands in the dirt. Yes. And we work, we're working on the back specifically, and we've had a family come out a couple days this week and totally level it off. It was just, looked so bad we didn't want to go back there. But it's becoming, to, it's coming to something that we want to be here at eSpace. So I invite you to join. It's next Saturday from 9 until 2. Lunch will be served, and we invite you to come and get your hands in the dirt after we bless the grounds. And finally, I'm going to invite Sister Linda up here because we have this thing called Eleganza. <laughs> and she'll give me the updates and all of the excitement that's happening around Eleganza. Okay, let's say it again. Eleganza. <laughs> you know, uh, <clears throat> I had to pray all morning because... Uh, Arlene told me I couldn't ask for no money. <laughs> I did, I had to pray on that, but Reverend e up here, she done taught me that I can have everything that I want, Amen. that it's right here in the church. So Arlene had me, before I talk about the eleganza, my wish list, I need a spotlight. So if there's anyone in here that's into theater, raise your hand, don't raise your hand. Try to raise your hand. Ah, I saw some hands move. All right, I saw you. Oh, very good. So we need help just to make it beautiful. What is the eleganza? It's a shoot off. Raise your hand if you was here last Sunday. Did you have fun? Yes. Say it loud. <laughs> Mama C ain't said nothing. Lord have mercy. But anyway, let me continue to talk because Reverend Me is preaching. So the eleganza is a fundraiser taking place May 25th at the California Ballroom. It's an invitation to everybody. I heard the educational department testify about your movement. This is a liberation. I'm now over, what, that age, but I can still move. And what I have learned is that movement is very important. I think this is a part of Reverend dream. Rock me, Robert, yes. Come on now. Yeah, I need all the musicians. I can't ask for no money. But I need you, Vanessa, and I need you. I, I swear I can pay you love. Tyrone, passion. My son has taught me I'm very passionate about dancing. So come and move your bodies. We getting old up in here. The song says the young becomes the old. Everything changes, but what I know for a fact if you can keep moving, your heart will keep pumping. If you can keep moving, your elimination will happen. If you can keep moving, you can keep walking and thinking. I am a living testimony. So the eleganza takes place again May 25th. I didn't ask for no money, did I? Uh, okay, I, I, I'm just trying to do it right. I prayed on this, y'all. So uh, again, like I said, every, Reverend Anthony is the key. He don't even know that yet. But every Sunday we meet, keep on laughing, that, that means you feel good. Every Sunday, look at Reverend e, we meet here from 1, well, 12.30 to 3, right here in this room. It's free, I want you to know that. But if you want to give a love offering, <clears throat> I'm not asking for no money, I'm begging. I didn't, Arlene said I can't, but I can, because Reverend E's sitting right here. But anyway, um, we have a nice amount of you signed up. I am, it was, over, it was off the hook last Sunday. Arlene was crying, Pfft, child. So please, please make sure that you note that every Sunday from right after church to three, and then now we have Tuesdays and Thursdays. If you wanna dance with somebody, if you don't even know how to do it, I do, I could show you. Come on, girl, lean with it, rock with it. So again, I need, yes, I need you, uh, and you, and you, and you, yes, who said me? Raise your hand if you really ain't never did no dancing. Come on, put your hand up, girl, don't be scared, I'm good at this. So I will see you today here in the church from, yeah, that feel good, I can see your smile. From 12.30 to 3, if it's all good. You, the, the, what the thing say, you in good hand with East Bay. Thank you so much. I did not ask for no money, but I would love to have your presence. Miss Vanessa, I know you can do ragtime. You was at Frayson Savage. 
We want to make it funky. That's what we have called the Sundays. It's the funky good time Sundays. There is no cost. Only cost it is your laughing like revenue and your jitterbugging feet, and I got the rest. Thank you so much. I did not ask for no money. So, as Sister Linda said, if you have these gifts to share with her, see her after service. She has a list, so check, in, check out with her. I'm so sure some of us can support her. I just want to give my testimony. This is testimony day about last Sunday. Yeah, I was moved to tears because we had all age groups, physical limits, challenges, and me. And I got to take the pictures, and I got to watch how we went from ooh to ah. It was amazing. And physically for me, my knee is healed. Look at this. Look at that. I can walk. It didn't hurt. So I'm inviting you to come out. Whatever is going on in your body, come have it healed with music and movement. So thank you. That's our announcements for today. Thank you, Arlene and everyone else. Oh. I felt good <laughs> when I came down the Soul Train line. It's, it's uh, you know, really, it's, it's so powerful being up here. I just love being up here, especially with my mentor, uh, Reveni. And then uh, I, I was up here when they reminded me, and everybody greeted Reveni with a hug and a kiss. And I just sat back. Then nobody give me a hug and kiss. And then everybody beat that uh yeah. So by uh right on. Revenue says just keep living. And that's what I plan on doing. Yes, indeed. Oh, okay. Um uh, Tyrone, we have the men's ensemble today. Chorus. The men's chorus today. So uh, let's welcome our men and uh, enjoy, enjoy, please enjoy, as I know you will. Thank you for your prayers this morning, brother. Thank you. Yes, brother. yes. Thank you. God is good. She asked us to sing first. And we're doing two songs we haven't done before. First time we've done it. One is a nod to the women's ensemble for holding it down so many years. One of your signature songs, and we're gonna do our best to sing that. And then the other one is something that Chris is gonna bring. You've heard it before. You've heard of Charlie Wilson. And this is called I'm Blessed. So if you know the song, which many of you probably already do, sing along with us, it's okay. Not a day goes by what? that I don't 
try yeah. to thank the Lord above. I gotta thank I him. Wonder why I love life. Yeah. Come close and I'll tell you what's up. Ask me how I'm doing, I'm blessed. Yes, living every moment, no regrets. Smile up on my face, I'm like, oh, yes, I'm blessed. Yes, I'm blessed. Yes. Ask me how I'm doing, I'm blessed. I'm yes. blessed. Living every moment, no regrets. Smile upon my face, I'm like, oh, yes, I'm blessed. You know I'm yes, blessed. Yes, I'm blessed. You know I'm yes, blessed. Yes, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Oh. your presence, give you a gift of appreciation, and just send you some love. And thank you, thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you for being here. And family, let's outstretch our hands in the direction of our visitor, and please repeat after me. Hello. How are you? We see you. We love you. We thank God for you. And so it is. Thank you, thank you. So please complete the card that you're receiving and receive a gift for you in the uh, bookstore. And for those of you online, you're welcome to sign our guest book so we can also keep in contact with you. And let's see, uh, testimonies. Do we have, oh, come here, please, let me see you. I'm sorry, I was looking all around. Now watch this. <laughs> no, go ahead. Good morning, East Bay. My name's Shanette. 
Shanette Steiger. And I have the privilege and the honor of taking five gifts for an abundant life class with Reverend Arlene King. One of the um, things is that I was resistant to taking a class because I had just been released from a job that I thought was my ideal retirement job. So I was a little pissed off. But, um, but um, do know that I learned so much in this class with wonderful people and like minds. And the five gifts for abundant life or gratitude, giving thanks for all things. Yes. So I change my morning routine. As soon as I open my eyes, I'm giving thanks for my breath. Thanks for the ability to move my limbs, although they may ache a little bit. I'm giving thanks for the ability to rise every morning and fill my lungs with air because some of us were not able to today. Setting my intentions. What's my focus? What do I want to have manifested? Meditating on my intentions. Now, forgiveness is another gift that I had some resistance around. Forgiving myself, hmm, a little easy. But forgiving others? Uh, doesn't that mean that once I forgive them, they're going to change to how I want them to be? <laughs> and do what I say do? No, 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 but it's releasing those trauma bonds, releasing the shackles that are on me and my spirit so that I could have joy. Tithing, knowing that money is an energetic flow and circulating it means that it comes back to me pressed down and running over and that is the gift that I experienced taking this class, tithing, surrendering, surrendering to the God within me. In this class, we practice the affirmation, I surrender to the power and presence of God within me. I surrender. I surrender. I talk about surrendering as a birth worker, as a labor and delivery nurse of 30 years delivering babies, that I know that women will not dilate and prepare for the birth of a baby until they surrender to the process. But am I willing to do it? As controlling and ego-minded as I could be, am I willing to surrender to the God presence and power in myself. Yes. So one thing I will share is that since I was released from a job, which I thought was my ideal job, teaching pregnant and parenting teenagers about parenting and birth and being present for them, I decided to travel. So I went to Athens, Greece, Istanbul, Turkey, Lisbon, Portugal, visit family in Zurich, Switzerland, tailed back and said, you know, I'm not done. I went and spent a month in Accra, Ghana, Cape Coast, met up with some of our East Bay family members here. In every destination, I sent that manager who re released me a beautiful postcard. <laughs> Blessings, blessings come in many dis disguises. Initially, I was disappointed, doubted myself. But since I surrendered to the process, so many opportunities that flow in my way. Uh, job opportunities, abundant opportunities. And so what I will say is surrender to exercising your faith muscle, and register for classes. I'm already, I'm already registered for the next series of classes. So please register for classes. Thank you.
Thank you, thank you. Reverend James Glenn. I have to channel my energy before I get a start. I have to give an apology to Constance because it's a challenge de dealing with parking in the parking lot because we have limited parking space. So I want everybody to be mindful of the fact that we only have 24 parking spaces across the street. So I owe Constance apology for my energy. But at the same time, what I'm here to talk about is that when we understand the life process, we understand that we enter into four primary relationships. One with the creator, one with ourselves, one with relationships with others, and the most vital and important part, which is the thread of continuity through the life experience, which is money. You can't live without no money. You can't get no honey without no money. You got to have money to live. And so what I'm here to say is when I took the class, I, I got a little BTW. I started getting big time ways. So what I'm just saying, when, when, as a result of taking the class, it enhanced my earning capacity and it allowed me to look at new avenues of uh, creative expression. I'm working with Calvin Potts at uh, uh, Rites of Passage. I'm also working with Alameda County. I got some real estate deals, my cannabis business. I'm off the hook. Yeah, so the whole point is what I'm saying. If you want to get something, you got to do something. You got to show up and remember, I'm going to leave you with this. Life is a participation sport. In order to manifest and get what you got to get, you got to participate. Take the class. Take the class, change your life, and have some more money. I got you, go. <laughs> oh, you know, I, uh, I love these men. I love, you, you know what, because we are real. Well, I, I'm real. I don't know about y'all, but I'm real. I love East Bay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what's that? Tyrone? <laughs> and then <it> scores. <laughs> Like I had said earlier, this is really a nod to the amazing women's ensemble. Y'all held it down like the men's chorus did. We are all during the pandemic. We were showing up. And it was intentional. It was absolutely intentional. So when you take the money class, <laughs> know it's your intention that will attract what you want. The law of vibration is as equally important as the law of attraction. Oh my 
think y'all said it loud enough. It's working for me. All right, all right. I don't have to worry about it. It's working for me. It's working for me. Come on, y'all. It's working for me. Feel it in your soul. It's working for me. No else to go but God. Oh, oh, oh. Touch the perfect life of God within me. Nothing from the doubt can touch the perfect life of God within me. No past experience has power over me. No past experience has power over me. I am a perfect child of God. I am a perfect child of God. And nothing that anyone has ever done or said. Can interfere with my divine inheritance. The 
power of God is greater than any circumstance in my life. The power of God is greater than any circumstance in my life. The strength of God is mine to use. The strength of God is mine to use. Turning away from all feelings of inadequacy. Turning away from all feelings of inadequacy. I discover that all that I need is within me right now. As I forgive the past, I find that I have nothing to atone for and nothing to run away from. As I forgive the past, I find that I have nothing to atone for and nothing to run away from. Casting off the old me, I discover my true self. Casting off the old me, I discover my true self. I take dominion in my life. I Old habits have no power over me. Old habits have no power over me. I want us to just breathe on that one. Old habits have no power over me. Most of the time when we think of habits, we think of drug addiction or food addiction, but the habit of second guessing myself. There's habits that we have that nobody knows but us. So praise God, I shared with all of you at one time, I was called to be on the Oprah show. Everybody's ever been on the Oprah show ended up with money. I didn't feel that I knew what to say or do, so I didn't go to the Oprah show. I'm talking to you about where are you second guessing God? Blessings come in all kind of ways. Yes. When Tyrone said they were singing, all things are working for my good. Yes. We all hopped our feet and we rocked and we said all things are working for our good. Mm. I have a grandson that surrendered himself to jail this week and I was scared to death. And then I had to question myself, aren't you the one that said there's not a spot where God is not? You're the one who, you're the one who said that. How come God is not in prison? Oh, hallelujah. So I'm talking to you about how your blessings come. They don't always come the way you want them to come. Because I've been trying to get him and his mama to make up and they was mad at each other and she called me one day and said, Grandmother, I decided to practice ho'oponopono. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all don't know about what that is, but it's, a, it's just a statement. And you say it over and over again, I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you. So you know what? It don't always come, people don't say what you want them to say. They may not come to church. They don't have to come to church to meet God. If God is everywhere, God is in San Quentin. God is on Alcatraz. God is everywhere, God is where you are. And I thought about Reverend Anthony this morning when I walked in here and he started talking about what we believe. And I thought, you know, old folks used to call that an affirmation. That I, that's the first thing I thought about. There's a statement in what we believe that says, we believe in the complete emancipation from all discord of every nature, and that goal is sure to be attained by all. Whether you know them or they know you, just say that over and over again. So when I got here this morning, one visitor or two or three stood up. So that means I've had a relationship with everybody in this church, yes. with everybody in this church. Mm -hmm. And I know, like I know that I know, that I saw when Seanette yes, got yes, up here, yes. Seanette speaks Spanish. And I asked, the person that usually does it with me was not here one Sunday, and she came up, and she mm -hmm. speaks Spanish. Mm -hmm. And the young, I can't call her name, is here from Germany. She can do it mm -hmm. in German. So we have an international ministry. 
the little old country girl Amen. who didn't even have a high school education, who was scared to go on Oprah. You don't have to go nowhere. Right where you are, your blessings are right there. Right there is where you are. Everything you need. I, have, I said to the young man who does the picturing and whatnot, JJ, I have a, pic, a, a snapshot of the garden out there when it was just a sand bed. There was nothing out there but a sand bed. You don't have to know how to do anything. Yes, yes. All you need is to trust God. Yes. So we had a workshop here one day and a person came up and said, would you like some grass out there where the sand bed is? I said, yes, sir. He said, well, I'm in that kind of business. If you go out there and get somebody to dig out six inches or more of that sand and haul it away, then I'll send you some topsoil. And all that was needed was, was put out there. And I have a picture when there was nothing out there but sand because California really is a desert part of it and cactuses grow here better than anything else. But along came a young lady, and she started planting stuff. And there's a black and white bird of paradise out there. They usually are orange and yellow, and all kinds of stuff is in that yard now. A young man named Ron Kernikin was about to make his transition. He planted those three trees over there. And uh, uh, so we got all kinds of things growing out there because I ask. Yes, amen. I ask. And amen. so whatever you need, I guarantee you that right now, if you need a kidney transplant, there's somebody in this church. Mm -hmm. There's somebody will match you. Mm -hmm. Somebody in this, this place, I have said to my family, and to everybody else, no matter what you need, it's in this place. Amen. It's in this place. Amen. It's in this place. And I'm glad to see all our folks coming back home. Yes. I was so Amen. glad to see Robert and his wife and his children. Yes. I'm just glad to see. And I, I felt like, Lord, I brought your children home. Mm -hmm. I, I remember one time when there was a large number of practitioners mm -hmm. and I walked up the aisle with all these folks in white following me. And guess what? Mm -hmm. They all became ministers and they went and they spread out all over the globe. Yes. We got folks from East Bay with a ministry in Jamaica, yes. a ministry in Africa, mm -hmm. and I can I have a place in Cape Coast and this girl said that she went to Cape Coast. Mm -hmm. I went to Africa, and I bought a house over there. Mm -hmm. So anybody want to go to Cape Coast, there's a house, there's a place for you to live. Because God is not confined yes. to yes. language and places of being. Yes. There's not a spot where God is not. That's and right. so it's your place to ask. It's your, it's, that's all you have to do have a clear perception of what it is you want. Yes. You can't want one thing today, and tomorrow you change that. Wait until you know exactly what you want, and write it out, mm -hmm. refine it, and keep on till you know this is it. Yes. And then stay with that. Have this, we call that yes. visioning. Yes. Make sure you can see it in your mind's eye. Yes. My first trip to Africa was about 20 years ago. I met Brother Ishmael in Michael Beck, which used to have the uh, every year, two years or so convention. Mm -hmm. And I went down there and I met Brother Ishmael. Now my husband didn't like metaphysics. He came from a church that they called it Primitive Baptist. And he said, I hear you going to a church where they don't believe in hell. Well, let me tell you what. All of y'all are going to hell. 
you need to know right now that if you go to that church, y'all going to hell. Why am I telling you that? Don't pay no attention to what people say. Sometimes the very person who loves you the most will say the most hurtful things to you. But you hold on. Oh, mama used to sing a song that said, hold on to God's unchanging hands. Build your hopes on things eternal. Hold to God's unchanging hands. So then at, he, he agreed to go to Los Angeles with me because I was going anyway. He said, well, I'll go down there. And when he walked in there, Brother Ishmael was praying. And he had never heard a man pray like that. Mm -hmm. So we need y'all brothers, and I'm glad we have men's day and men's court, because sometimes men will listen to another man Amen. more than they will a woman. Amen. Although, you know what I said? Amen. Well, God made y'all first, and y'all couldn't make it, so that's why we said, <laughs> y'all didn't know what y'all was doing. Y'all needed some help. <laughs> God, when that man died, he was taking these same classes that you hear him talk about, enrolling the classes. The same person who told me I was going to hell if I took the classes was taking the classes. Don't pay no attention to what people say. You stay steady in what you know. Mm -hmm. This we believe in the complete emancipation from all discord of every nation, and that goal is sure to be attained by how I call that the mother's prayer. Amen. That's the mother's promise, because sometimes your kids will act so wild, you won't even recognize your own kids. And then they might, you know one thing I told my son Kwame, I said, boy, you don't get to talk back to me. I will get up on a step ladder and lay you out. <laughs> he laughed at me. He said, Mama, how you gonna fight somebody on a step ladder? That ain't the <laughs> That's not the point. The point is <laughs> the point is you don't get to talk back to me. And so I always ask people to allow the children. I'm glad to see the babies. Yes. Because they run around, they talk. They act out, but they hear. Yeah. They hear. Yes. And I taught everybody to have a song. Yes. Yes, and right. Anthony will yeah. tell you that everybody needs a song. Yes, right. Because the slaves were not allowed to talk to one another. They did let us sing. Yep. And so when, when Harriet would tell them when they was getting ready to go, she'd say, steal away. Mm -hmm. They start singing, steal away to Jesus. That was a song that y'all get ready. Because the Underground Railroad is leaving tonight. Yes. Find your song. Yes. Find yourself Amen. a song. Mm -hmm. My song Amen. is Blessed Assurance. Yes. Spirit, Jesus is mine. Yes. Oh, what a foretaste mm -hmm. of glory divine. Angels descending bring from above echoes of mercy, yes. whispers of love. Yes. This is my story, and this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. So what I'm asking you to do now is decide what you want. Mm -hmm. Just decide. I've shared with you before when I came into this philosophy they said I could have whatever I want. Coming from the poverty that I came from, working in the field from sunup to sundown, helping my family try to pick a bale of cotton or whatever it was. We were still children. We'd be running through the cotton field throwing butt balls at each other. But we were happy. Yes. And at lunchtime, my grandmother would wait down there at the end of the road, road under the tree with the babies. And I'd go down there and lay down with my grandmother. And I'd look up, and there was this big airplane yes. that would fly by every day. And I said to her, Grandma, where is that plane going? There must be a highway in the sky. Mm. And so 
She said, I don't know, baby, but I heard it was going to a place called California. I said, when I grow up, I want to live there, Grandma. When I grow up, that's where I want to be. All kinds of stuff happens. We got here because William did something in the military that he was not supposed to do, and he was sent to a Nike missile base in California. Mm. So some, I'm talking about how blessings are answered. Because we were out here because he was being punished. But it was the answer to the prayer that I asked. That's why you need to be careful who you hook up with. <laughs> he might not have even wanted to be in California, but I did. I did. And I tell my children, my, one of my grandsons said, well, Grandma, you had to help me buy a car because ain't no girl going to go out with you and you on the bus. I said, let me tell you one thing. If she don't want you on the bus, that's, right. that's all you got, Amen. you don't need her. Amen. Let me tell you what you need to do. You need to, oh, my God. You need to start running for Jesus. Yes, yes. And you just close your eyes and you say, I'm running for God. And when you look to the side and somebody running right with you, oh, that's her right there. <laughs> that's him yeah. right there. Because they're going my way. Yes. They're going my way. Make sure that you know what you want. Your, cho your job is to know the what. Don't worry about the how. Yes, amen. It's God's business to supply the how. No matter what you're doing, hold to God's amen. unchanging amen. hand. Yes, yes. I give thanks. Yes. I don't know how long I'm talking. You know, I, <laughs> I preach with my eyes closed. Yes. Because I'm not talking about what science of mine told me to say. I was blessed with something called the spirit of discernment. Uh -oh. And when I get up here, I close my eyes. And whatever people need to hear, uh -huh. that's what I talk about. This piece of paper said, whatever, whatever. But I know that you know yes. that if you're here today, whatever your heart desire is right here. Right. Ray Charles had just put out this song Gee, baby, ain't I good to you? Bought you a fur coat for Christmas. <laughs> Cadillac car, diamond ring, and everything. So when Margaret Storch told me I could have what I want, I want a Cadillac car. Uh, I want a fur coat amen. and a diamond ring. Amen. And I got it just like that. <laughs> I got it just like that. Yeah. So I'm telling you, if you're in this service today, whatever you want, you can have that. You're supposed to write it out. Uh -huh. Write it out. Make the vision, the Bible say write the vision. Make it clear. Yeah. You yeah. write it out. You can't just think it in your mind. Write it out. Mm -hmm. Because that's a hand-eye coordination. Uh -huh. Mo a lot of stuff is going on when you write something. Yes. Don't worry about how God don't need to read it. Mm -hmm. Say, well, my handwriting is too bad. Write it anyway. <laughs> Printed if it, it just have to do that. Amen. Because that is the command. Write the vision. Make it plain. Yes, yes. And when you write and you get a clear vision, a person came to my house and said, Reverend E, I did a visioning with you and everything I asked for came true. I want another session and I'll pay you whatever you charge. Mm. Talking Amen. to practitioners now. Amen. Talking to anybody. Practitioners mean one who practices. Yes. There's a license time that you have yes. to study this, but if you practice what we teach here, it'll work in your life. It will work in your life. Yes. It will, and you will be blessed, yes. and you'll make a difference wherever you go. Yes. So right here and right now, I don't know if anybody got a hook to pull me off on the time. <laughs> you know that you, <laughs> brother Anthony. You know what? 
you know if it's time for me to have the altar call, no, the, 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 the finances, the, the whatever. No, uh, we're going we're gonna to pray over the treatment box. All right. Thank you, Kimberly. Thank and then, you. Uh, yeah, just say thank you. Thank just you, say thank you. Thank you, God. Just say thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you. Go ahead. So right here, right now, is the only time that is. There's no yesterday. There's no tomorrow. Right now is all that is. One day at a time. Mm. So I give thanks mm -hmm. for this prayer box. Practitioners don't pray for God to do anything. Mm -hmm. Because prayer doesn't change God. Prayer changes the person doing the prayer. Mm -hmm. So what we say is all right. Mm -hmm. But God already knows what you need. Mm -hmm. You don't have to remind God of what you mm -hmm. need. God knows what you need. And it's already provided. Hallelujah. You're sitting under the tree with bearing fruit. And all you got to do is look up and pick the fruit. Because the fruit is on the tree under which you are sitting. And I give thanks that I know that. Mm -hmm. If you hear this morning, your heart's desire is already met. Prayer don't change God's mind about you. The big book says, eyes have not seen, mm -hmm. ears have not heard, mm -hmm. nor has it been revealed in your heart the good things that God has in store mm -hmm. for you. Just look up. Just look up. Mm -hmm. And I pass this prayer on to my brother Anthony. And as I accept the words that have been spoken, I realize that something is happening, y'all. Yeah. Something is happening. And it's happening through me as me. And I invite each and every one of you to just get your bloated nothingness out of the way and let God be God in you and through you. Yeah. For truly, God is in the midst of all things. So I surrender. I relax. I release. I just let go. I just like go and I shout hallelujah. hallelujah. For I know hallelujah. that it's done up to me as I believe. And I believe that God is truly all that there is. Yes. So I'm just going to give it thanks. I'm going to give it thanks for the power and the presence of God. I'm giving thanks for the spoken word. I'm giving thanks for just being able to give thanks. Yes. As I release, I let go and I let God. And so it is, and so it is. And now is our opportunity to give as we have been received. We have our offertory statement, and we'll read this in unison. As I give thanks for the good now flowing into my life, I gladly share that good with others. The more I give, the more I receive. And so it is.
I bless the tithes and offering. I bless the giver as I bless the receiver. For I understand that God is truly all that there is. And for this and so much more, I am, we are eternally grateful. And so it is. Uh, let's see. Richard remind me that, of course, we have practitioners, practitioners that are available for after service prayer. Will you please come forward? Practitioners that are available. Thank you. Please come forward. And we do have snacks, uh, coffee, and some goodies in the fellowship area. So please. And, and just a Tyrone. reminder, at 3.30, Pathway to Fatherhood. Yes, at 3.30 right so for men, all, for men only. That's correct. We ask all the men to attend. However, ladies, please ask your brothers, your sisters, your husband, your partner. Encourage them to show up. Something special when men get a chance to talk to men. It's thank, a very loving experience. Thank you. We need thank your you, help Tyrone. with that. Yeah. Yes, yes? Did yes, you know? yes. Thank you. Thank you, Tyrone. Okay, let's see. So we have practitioners here. We have goodies in the uh, fellowship area. And uh, gosh, God is very, very good. And I just give thanks for knowing this to be the truth. And uh, give Reverend E, uh, give her a kiss, a handshake. Yeah, just, just let her know that we appreciate her. We thank God for her, for she is truly all that there is. So with this, as we prepare to leave the space, we leave knowing that we have been fed, that we have been fed, and that God is truly all that there is in the midst of all things. So we go from this place, spreading the consciousness, the consciousness of knowing that God is truly all that there is. Brother Come Chris. Come on, Chris. As we are all doing, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Yes. Living every moment, no we feel blessed. Smile upon my face, I'm like, oh, 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 o